Hello everyone, I've um, having, been having problems with my PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller, the right hand one, and on Reddit somebody posted that there was a website called gamepad-tester.com that you could go to on your PC, plug the controller in with the cable into your PC, and then you could see the values that are being returned by the controller. And we can see here, this is my PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller, the first tab was my Xbox controller. But this is my PlayStation controller and the problem areas are this one here B7 and this one here Axis 2. B7 is registering on all of the time and the reason it's registering on all of the time is because Axis 2 isn't at minus 1 when it's released. It's at minus 0.91. If I press that controller you can see it goes all the way to 1 and as I release it it goes all the way back to minus 9.2 this time but not to minus 1. All the way in, 1, all the way out, minus 9.2. And that is the source of the problem. This is a hardware problem, not a software problem. And the Axis 5 is that same trigger, but just very lightly pressed. So you can see on Axis 5, I can press it and press it all the way down. That's literally me, me literally just touching the controller and pulling it slightly. Also, B15 is the binary version, the one and zero version. So B15, as soon as I touch the trigger, as soon as I so much as touch the trigger, it's saying he's touched the trigger. So this is how they're registering it in the game. So the same trigger registers B15 and B7 and Axis 5 and Axis 2. So that, but our problem ones are B7 is registering on all the time because it doesn't go all the way out. Now there was a suggestion that you could flick the controller, flick this, so you can see me flicking it, all the way down and just repeatedly hammer at it and that that would loosen it up in some way wiggle it around pull it up and down pull it in and out and it would somehow improve the value but you can see mine will not go beyond 0.92 I can try as I might and it will there will 929 it's getting a 929 there there we go 929 if I pull it all the way out it's getting a 929 but this is a this is a hardware fault this has to go back to Sony. Nothing we can do about it. They, there were suggestions that you could spray air into it or blow on it or something, but nothing. Use this website, give it a try, see if you can loosen yours up a little bit, but don't try too hard. There's no point in breaking the controller before you send it back to Sony. This is a hardware fault. They know it's a hardware fault and they're just not telling anybody. Um, also, I, I'm a long-term PSVR 1 user, had a lot of love for it and that's why I got into this straight away and this new one it's heavier no shadow of a doubt it's sitting on my forehead heavy the old one I could play for hours this one I play for half an hour and I get a headache because it's resting on my nose I have the IPD all the way into the middle because I have piggy little eyes and it's pushing on my nose giving me a headache from that and also pushing on the top of my head and giving me a headache from that so Sony you really need to go back and have another look at this hardware or your suppliers and their, their quality control but for everybody else try this website if it registers anything other than minus one you've got a faulty controller get in touch with sony